Alright everybody, game for you here, and today we are playing another game, and it is King's Quest 1 ABG or AGD Remake. And I'm playing the remake because while everybody's done the other games, they haven't done this one. So, let's get started. Let's see. A yeah, okay, it's AGD, not AVG. If, I think it's supposed to be a D at least. But basically, there's this group out there, AVG, or group company, I don't know what they are. And they go and they remake these old click, point and click games and all. And they're pretty, I mean, they're pretty good remakes, they're pretty fun. I like them. Okay. King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown. And this game is going to save me a lot because of time reading, because it reads everything for you. You can turn that off, but I don't... It, I'm just going to show off that it's something different for this game than it didn't do in the other ones. So let's watch the introduction. You are Sir Graham, the bravest and most honorable knight in the troubled realm of Daventry. King Edward the Benevolent, aged ruler of Daventry, has summoned you to the castle for reasons unknown. Greeting, Sir Graham the King is expecting you. Allow me to escort you to His Majesty's throne room. Thank you, Sir Knight. Raise the portcullis. I am at your service, my king. I am an old man, Sir Graham. Perhaps too old to carry the weight of this crown. My bones ache and my hands tremble. I am afraid my time on earth grows short, but enough about me. Great misfortunes have befallen Daventry since the loss years ago of three magical treasures. I have chosen you, the finest knight in all of Daventry, to search for these lost treasures. Only then can this kingdom be restored to its former glory. And only then may I rest with the knowledge that my people are safe. The first treasure is a magic mirror that foretells the future. The second is a magical shield that protects the bearer from all mortal harm. The third and last is an enchanted chest that is forever filled with gold. I know that what I ask is difficult. Nay, perhaps impossible. The dangers are many. But you are brave and pure of heart. That is why I chose you to volunteer. If you succeed, you will inherit my crown and rule the realm of Daventry as her rightful king. Go, Sir Graham, and know that the fate of Daventry lies in your hands. Take heart, my king. I shall not fail you. Okay, so that was the intro to the game, and it basically tells you what we're doing. We're going to go find the treasure. So let's go ahead and begin game. Would you like to play the game without the possibility of encountering dead ends or getting stuck? Uh, no. No. You have selected to play with dead ends enabled. The game will play exactly the same way as the EGA version of King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown. That's what we want. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oops. Crap. I meant to click this one. Save. Start. And here's what I why I'm saving. <laughs> mm. 
the moat monsters appreciate your good taste. Ha ha ha, good taste. Yeah, I'm going to show off as many deaths as I can. Just because a lot of them are pretty, actually pretty funny. Now, some of you may be wondering why I decided to play King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown. Because it's not usually what I do. Well, here's what happened. I was watching my friend Sax Cat's walkthrough of it, or LP of it, and I decided I would give the remake a try. And the remake's pretty fun. I mean, it's not as good as the original, but... Mm. Okay, let's look at the rock. You see a large gray rock. The voice acting clearly isn't the best. Let's talk to the rock. That's strange. You don't get an answer. Oh, it's strange that the rock doesn't talk to me. There's not much to do there. There's not... There we go. You get, the hand's kind of weird. You gotta, like, get it on the fingertips. With a small shove, you manage to push the rock a few feet, revealing a shallow hole underneath. And let's dig in a hole. Ooh. You reach into the hole and find an intricately carved dagger. You carefully lift it out, being careful not to cut yourself. Can't cut ourselves yet because we don't have the band-aid yet. Kidding, of course. That, that would be pretty cool that they had a band-aid in the game. <laughs> okay, here's a large oak tree. Look at tree. This is the biggest oak tree you've ever seen. Its trunk seems to be about ten feet around, and the thick, sturdy branches look like they could hold many times your weight. Let's climb said tree. Yeah, I like this version though. It's a great finding plenty of Whoa. footholds in the coarse bark of the tree. You easily clamber up the trunk to the branches above. It's a pretty uh good lazy man's game. I mean, it's you can turn off the getting stuck and lost. You can uh okay, this is actually very difficult. You can turn off the getting stuck part. Ah, see what I mean? They did not make that part of this game any easier. Climb, Sir Graham. So you may fall again and possibly die again. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this, but we need what's up there. Oy. The problem is I have to play this in a windowed mode. Ah, crap! The windowed mode on my computer, to, and the window is 320 by 200. <laughs> so you can imagine I'm having difficulty seeing what I'm doing. But this is the only way you can record this, because fraps won't work on it full screen. And okay. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna slowly nudge our way up there. Okay, it should be close enough. You can't reach the nest. You. Can okay, not close enough. Okay, here we go. You check to make sure that the feather is still securely stuck in your cap. Okay, there we go. I don't care about my cap. Carefully lift the golden egg out of the nest. As the goose that laid the golden egg comes and eats you. Now you can fall. Okay. Now let's just go and save again. Because I don't... know when we're going to get attacked. Okay. Where do we need to go now? Uh, let's try going over here. Seem to remember this being the right way. Ooh. Oh, sorry about that. I hit the mic. This is a well tended carrot patch. The carrots look tempting to a hungry traveler. Let's go steal some carrots. Oh, wait, is that over right there? A patch of pretty flowers has been planted near the. Okay, no, it's not. Okay, let's just. Come over here and take a carrot. You pluck a plump orange carrot from the ground. Who a plump orange carrot? 
Now we go up here. And there's supposed to be an elf here, and I, if I remember right from the first time through, you have to just keep walking back and forth till the elf shows up. Come on, stupid elf. Wandering along the banks of the beautiful lake, you see a cute little elf. You should get a little... Let's get a little closer. That should be close enough, shouldn't it? I wish I had an owl to keep me company. The elf is impressed by your friendliness and responds by handing you an elegant little ring. I've had me eye on you, Sir Graham. Methinks you might enjoy this little trinket. For just a wee bit of time, it has the power to make ye invisible. May it give ye as much entertainment as ye has given me this day. With that, the elf vanishes. That was creepy, little elf. Now, what was he saying when I talked to myself? Talking to yourself is a sure sign that the hot Daventry sun is taking its toll on you. <laughs> That's strange. You don't. <laughs> okay, I'll, I like that. Okay. Ooh, a bowl. If I can, if I'm looking right, it looks like a bowl. Flourishing pine trees abound in this part of the forest. There appears to be some sort of bowl sitting next to the tree. Then let's go pick up said bowl. Better not. Those pine needles look. That hand is so annoying. You pick up the bowl. Now we. You cannot do that, sir. Okay, now we look at the bowl. How do we go into our inventory? Okay, here we go. Inscribed on the inside of this empty ceramic bowl is the word fill. Fill? Huh. I wonder what that means. Oh, look, a squirrel. The squirrel seems hesitant about climbing its favorite walnut tree with you standing around. There's a large walnut tree surrounded by several pine trees. There's a large There's a There's a large There's a There's a There's a There's a There's a There's a There's Uh whatever we're supposed to pick up one of these. There's no There's There's no There we go. Sir Graham could learn to move. You choose a big meaty looking walnut from the bunch scattered around. Okay, now we go to our inventory again and use the nut. When you open the walnut, you discover the nut inside is pure gold. Hoo hoo! Nothing happens. That, that's really all we do with it. Now let's go back down here. Oh, we've already been here. Don't care. Crap, hit the thing off screen. No, oh, wait, I feel like that's wrong. Uh Okay, you know, well, that's right. We I I would guess remember we had to go down here back where we came and go over here. Okay. Now, let's see. This is a serene mountain lake with a small beach of pebbles on its edge. This is a... On the beach are some smooth, round pebbles. Let's take pebbles. You grab some pebbles. Okay, I don't... This is not a good place to throw rocks. It's the water. It's always a good place to throw rocks. I think we can... Yeah, we can just walk across the water. Oh, this reminds me, we probably should save again now. Let's see, I come from the water. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure how many of y'all get that reference there. I come from the water.
Uh, let's just keep going this way. Ooh, a log. Next to you is an old fallen tree trunk. It's crumbling and rotted and holds no interest for you, unless you have a fascination with termites. From here, you can see that the stump is very old and rotting away. A dark hole at the top catches your attention. Oh, I do indeed have a fascination with termites. So we're going to go and stick our hand down in the hole. The old stump is damp to the touch. A dark hole at the top catches your attention. You should look into dark holes before putting your hand... Oh, fine, I'll look in the hole. It's you, Sir Graham. Inside the rotting stump, you notice a small leather pouch. Okay, now we can... As you lift the pouch from the stump, you feel its contents shifting inside. Hang on one second, I need to go do something off screen really quick. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, okay, no crap. Let's look inside the pouch. When you peek inside the leather pouch, you discover it's filled with diamonds. <laughs> That's a pretty nice find, if you ask me. Okay, let's see. We need to walk to... the right. The right, the right, the right, right, right. The right's the right way to go. See the south? Here we go. Let's look around. You see a cottage and shambles. It saddens you to think that somebody might still live here. An old axe is permanently wedged into the tree stump. The handle has been broken and repaired. The head shows the signs of many sharpenings. Okay, let's go inside the house. The woodcutter speaks to you, his voice broken with sorrow. We would welcome you to our home, Sir Knight, but we've had no food for so long. My beautiful wife cannot even rise from her bed. I fear she may die soon. Well... Let's go in our inventory and click this. To your astonishment, something begins to bubble up from the bottom of the bowl. Within moments, the bowl is filled with a hot, savory stew. Okay. Let's give it to him. Nothing happened. Nothing. 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 Let's get closer. Nothing. Nothing. I'll give it to his leg. The is overwhelmed with joy. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Knight. We shall never forget your kindness and generosity. Please, take my fiddle as a small token of our thanks. I give you a bowl that never runs out of food, and you give me a fiddle. Great deal. Nothing happened. Nothing. Play the fiddle, dang it. The fine old fiddle has been beautifully carved. Do something, fiddle. This is the woodcutter. There. Okay, whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's go to. Ah, come on, stop. <laughs> Keep hitting it off screen and. Here we go. Ooh, scary. Oh, ginger gingerbread house. Let me save. I want some candy. Let's go inside the gingerbread house, because this isn't creepy at all. Oh, I think I have to knock on the door or something. The door is made from chocolate. Maybe I have to eat the door. This is the most marvelous house you've ever seen. It seems like it's made of a huge gingerbread cupcake with frosting for a roof. The chimney is made of gummy bricks. The door is made of chocolate. The fence is made of candy canes. And sour ball stones and gumdrops are scattered around the yard. 
Okay, let's knock on door. As you knock on the chocolate door, a squeaky voice from inside the house answers. Who is there? I love visitors, especially young tender ones. Come in, come in. Okay. Oh no, she's cast some kind of spell to keep you from escaping. Oh, how nice of you to come for dinner. <laughs> the witch looks you over carefully. You're a little too scrawny for my appetite, but I think you're going to make a lovely dessert. Uh-oh. <laughs> the witch has turned you into a gingerbread man. Or is that a graham cracker? Ha ha ha, graham cracker. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and restore. And we're going to come, I'm going to go ahead and cut off here. And when we come back, we're going to do the right way to deal with the witch. Not the wrong way, like I just did. So thank you for watching, please rate and subscribe, and I will see you in next part of Let's Play King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown, AGD -A -A Reproduction version.